trust your first impression. What do you see? A beach. A beach, very good. Tell me what's on this beach. Water. Mm -hmm. Water. What else? I can hear the ocean. I can hear the ocean. You can speak louder. I can, I can hear the ocean. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this place. It's black. It's black. What's black? The water. The water is black. Mm -hmm. What's causing the water to be black? Is that the color of the water? Yes. Uh huh. And what's around this water? What else is around it? What do you see? Where are you in relation to the water? I'm on the shore. I'm on the shore. Mm -hmm. And what does this shore look like? It's uh, like a Looks like sand. Mm -hmm. Beige color. Beige color sand. Uh huh. Anything else interesting about this place? My head hurts. Your head hurts. Okay, let's find out why. I want you to focus on your head in this place. Imagine yourself standing in front of a spiritual mirror and let's look at your body and see what's causing your head to hurt. What do you see? I, I can't see myself. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What do you feel yourself to be there? I feel like um, my head is really round. My head is really round. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Tell me more about your head. And I think I'm blue. I'm blue. Very good. I feel, um, I feel pain across my forehead. Mm -hmm. Let's find out why. Let's find out what's causing this pain in your forehead. You say that you're, you're blue and your head is round. Let's find out what's causing the discomfort. Trust your impression. What's the first thing that comes into your mind? What's happening with your head? Are there any features on your head that are different than anything else? My eyes are black. My eyes are black. Mm -hmm. what, what shape are they in? Um, almond. Almond. Mm -hmm. But the, the pupils are really large. Pupils are large? They have like big eyes. Mm -hmm. Do you have a nose? Mm -hmm. I don't see a nose. No nose. Uh huh. Do you have a mouth? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What does it look like? Small, my face narrows. Mm -hmm. Your face at the na chin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The face narrows at the chin. Mm -hmm. What else do you see about yourself? Do you have any ears? Small ears. Mm -hmm. Are they internal or external? They're 
texture. Mm -hmm. What does your body look like? hands or feet. No hands or feet. There. My appendages are really long. Mm-hmm. How long are they? Mm. I think I stand Mm -hmm. You stand like ten feet tall? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what do your appendages look like? Blue. Mm -hmm. No clothes. No clothes. You say you have no hands. They don't... They, uh... Three. Like, three fingers. Mm -hmm. Three fingers? Mm -hmm. and what do the appendages look like? Long and pointy. The elbows are really pointy. Mm -hmm. The knees are really pointy. Mm -hmm. Look at your feet. What do they look like? They're long. Long feet? Mm -hmm. Three. Three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three toes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do they have anything coming out of them? Mm -hmm. It looks like a nail, very sharp, mm -hmm. pointy. A sharp, pointy nail. Same thing on the fingers. Mm -hmm. What does your skin feel like? Smooth. Smooth. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful, like, turquoise blue. Like a turquoise blue? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And do you have any gender where you are? Are you male or female? I feel like a male. Male. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now you were telling me when we first got here that you were on the sand looking at the ocean. Mm -hmm. What are you doing there? Just watching the waves. Mm -hmm. Is this something that you like to do? Yes. Mm -hmm. well, let's focus on your head and let's find out why you were having some discomfort in the head. Do you still feel it? Yes, mm -hmm. that's painful. Painful. Let's find out why you have this discomfort. Is there something that you're receiving? Some information, perhaps? I'm looking at the sky. Mm -hmm. They're clouds. Mm -hmm. There's clouds in the sky. Mm -hmm. What color are these clouds? They're gray. Mm -hmm. What's interesting about the sky? Mm. The clouds don't move. The clouds don't move. Do you feel that there's no atmosphere here, perhaps? I don't see any trees. No trees. What else do you notice about this place? No life. No life. What is this place? Look around you. What is this place called?
Is this your planet? No. What is this place? I don't know. But there's no no life there except for you. Yes. Is that why your head hurts? Uh, my head doesn't hurt anymore now that I'm crying. Mm-hmm. Allow all of those tears to bring out that discomfort. Use the tears to bring it out. Tell me about this place. Use your knowing to find out what happened here. You'll know. I want you to go in that lifetime to the time where you find out what happens to this place. Find out why you're there. As you travel, the discomfort will go away. Close that scene and open the new one. Well, you will know where you are and what happened. Look around you. War. Water. War. War. Mm -hmm. Let's find out who's warring. Look all around you and tell me what's happening. Explosions. Explosions. Mm -hmm. Where are these explosions coming from? Somewhere in the distance. Mm -hmm. Is it coming from the sky or from the planet? It's on the planet. Mm -hmm. Let's find out who's warring with you. This war is not mine. Mm. Whose is it? I don't know these people. Mm -hmm. Are you just a visitor here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what's going on. Why there's this war. Use your mind to connect and get the story. You will know the answers. Why is this happening? No light. Mm -hmm. What happened to the light? They blocked it, the clouds. Mm -hmm. And where did these clouds come from? Were they manufactured? Yes. Mm -hmm. Who manufactured these clouds? As sure as the clouds are not real. Mm -hmm. What do these clouds contain? Solid. Mm -hmm. They were put there on purpose. Yes. Mm -hmm. To block the light. The sun. The sun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, that's what they're fighting about. That's what they're fighting about. Let's find out who's fighting. Let's find out if we can see what planet this is. I want you to think of a name of a planet. Or Earth. 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 Mm -hmm. What year is this? What year comes up in your mind? Six 
6,000. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Everything is almost destroyed. Almost destroyed everything. Mm -hmm. The world is barren. Mm -hmm. What has caused the world to become barren? Greed. Greed. Is this everybody on this planet or some? Some. Mm -hmm. Are they the ones that block the sun? Yes. Mm -hmm. And what have they done to the nature? They killed it. Now, if they killed it, where is this greed? Because they're taking something away from it. Who are these? Are they, they only from? have it for themselves. They only have it for themselves. Mm -hmm. And where do they have? Where do they have it? In their isolated area. Mm -hmm. On the planet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is this on top of the earth or underneath? Underneath. Mm -hmm. So everything's underneath. Everything is underneath. Tell me more about this now. Now that you know what's happening. Why are you there? I'm not sure. Let's find out. If you came on your own accord, or if somebody sent you, I want you to close that scene, and let's go back to the time when you decided to visit this planet. Let's find out if it was on your own, or if somebody sent you. Be there now. Where are you? I'm home. I'm home. Mm -hmm. Describe this place that you call home. It's blue. It's blue, like you. Tell me what you mean by blue. What's around you? The sky is blue. Mm hmm. The sky is blue. What else? Everyone's blue. Everyone is blue. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Does everyone look like you? Yes. Mm-hmm. What else? There's a large population of my people here. Mm-hmm. Everyone seems very busy. Everybody's busy? Mm-hmm. What are they doing in this place? I see people walking just to various destinations. Walking to various destinations? Do you see any structures around you? Yes. Mm -hmm. What do they look like? Buildings. Their buildings, what are they made out of? I'm not sure, some type of material. Mm -hmm. Is it earthy material or is it metallic? Mm. Metallic. Mm -hmm. What color are they? Silver. Silver. Mm -hmm. Now, are these buildings very large? Because you told me that you were very large. To Yes. Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem large. Mm -hmm. It's it's kind of relative to how we are mm -hmm. with respect to buildings on Earth. Mm -hmm. So are the buildings larger? Yeah. To house you, mm -hmm. and what's in these buildings? What do you have there? Energy sources. Energy sources. 
Tell me more about that. Why do these people go to these buildings? To fuel. To fuel. Mm -hmm. Is this how you obtain nutrition for your bodies? It's how we obtain energy to give to other entities outside of ourselves. Ah, okay. So you actually project your energy out to others that need it? Yes. Uh huh. And in what manner are you able to do this? Through our hands. Through your hands. Okay. Tell me more about this. Through our hands and the visualizing of light being emitted. Mm-hmm. So as you visualize the light being emitted out of your hands, it actually energizes them? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is this something that your entire population does? Yes. And where do you go to do this? Various places in the universe. Mm -hmm. So tell me what you're being prepared for now. Why are you going there now? I turned to prepare for next mission. Prepare for the next mission. Do you choose this mission? Or does someone choose it for you? Both. Mm -hmm. So let's find out how you prepare for a mission. I'd like for you to take me through this. Take me to the place that prepares you for the next mission. Maybe return, maybe pour it back. Return? Mm hmm. Where are you returning to? To this planet. Mm hmm. It's interesting because it's like we we don't necessarily have to verbally say what happened or what we did or didn't do. The place we return to, they already know. Mm -hmm. Are you connected to that? Mm -hmm. Telepathically, perhaps? Yes, they watch us. Mm -hmm. Do they watch you while you're on your mission? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do they communicate with you while you're on your mission? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you feel any sensation while they're communicating? We hear sounds. We hear sounds. Do you feel any discomfort in your head when that happens? Mm. No. Okay. So let's find out what your next mission is going to be. Take me there. I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. Who are you with? around you. Where are you? They feel like family. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of sisters. A lot of sisters. Mm -hmm. Do you feel male or female there? Female. Female. Mm -hmm. Do they look like you? Yes. Mm -hmm. And do you have parents? You know, how is it that you are created? I hear we have always been. Mm -hmm. We are like energy, you can't be created or destroyed. So let's find out 
what your next mission is. Permission. Who are you telling this to? My family. Mm -hmm. Are they sending you on a mission? No. I have the option to stay. Mm -hmm. And become a distant observer. What makes you choose whether you stay or become an observer? Too much pain. Mm -hmm. When you're on this mission, do you feel pain? I feel the pain that is experienced by others. Mm -hmm. You take it on yourself? Yes. And for what purpose do you take on this pain? It's a part of what we do in order to render the light it's by having compassion, by experiencing what they feel. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what this next mission is all about. What is this place where you don't want to leave to? No new mission. Another mission? No new mission. No new mission. Is it the same one? Staying at home. You're staying at home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now that you're staying at home, let's find out what you do. Are you able to help others as an observer? Yes. All right. So tell me what happens next. Close that scene and let's move to the next scene where you're doing what you need to do as an observer. We see the galaxy as a whole. Mm -hmm. We pick up frequencies. We identify or translate as health. Mm -hmm. And then we send light energy to those coordinates where we have received the frequency from. Mm -hmm. And when you send your energy to where this frequency comes from, this frequency requesting help, what do they feel in return? Peace. Peace. Mm -hmm. Support. Mm -hmm. Do they know it's coming from you? So is there anything that you receive in return? No. Mm -hmm. This is what you do. Is this your purpose in this place? Yes. Mm -hmm. The beings that live with you, is that what they're meant to do? All of us. Mm -hmm. And this place where you live, is this a physical place? Yes. Mm -hmm. What does your place look like? Everything is blue with the except of the power sources. Everything is blue except for the power sources. What color are they? Silver. Silver. Mm -hmm. And this place, if you were to look at it from outside of it, would this place look like a like any structure in particular, any shape? What would your mm. place look like? your planet. Does it have a shape? It's round. It's round. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does it have a color? Blue. Blue. Mm -hmm. And this place where you live, does it travel or does it stay in one place? It stays in one place. It stays in one place. Okay. Does anybody see this place? place? No. No? <sighs> we show up in the galaxy as a star. You may show up as a star. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
So right now where you are, who are you helping now? Earth. Mm -hmm. Earth. For what purpose are you helping Earth? There's been a um, calling for us to focus our attention on the healing of the planet. Mm -hmm. What's happening on the planet that needs healing? Hate. Mm -hmm. Misunderstanding. Hate and misunderstanding. Fear. Lack of consciousness. Mm hmm. And what year is it on Earth that's requesting this? Now. Now. Mm -hmm. So what is it that you are doing now to Earth to assist it? Just sending light. Sending light. Are there some that are receiving it? Yes. Mm -hmm. What happens to them when they receive this light? They become love towers. Love towers? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what that is? It's when the people on Earth are conscious and aware of the power of love within them to create a greater synergy on the planet. Mm -hmm. Are you able to do anything about the darkness? Or does it have to come from within? It has to come from within. Mm. Is that why we have so many love towers? Yes. Mm -hmm. And do you see that the love towers are multiplying? Yes. Mm -hmm. What happens when one love tower is created? Do they affect others? Yes. Do they become love towers also? Yes. So it's, you don't actually have to create the love towers, it becomes a domino effect. Each love tower sends out its own signal and a frequency to awaken those in a certain radius of it. Mm -hmm. And those who choose to hear the frequency and adhere, they need to do the work in order to form their own. Mm -hmm. So since you have been doing this, have you seen a change in the earth? Yes. Mm -hmm. How is that affecting it? The change is happening within the women. Within the women? Mm -hmm. Tell me why. Corridors of all life. They, the women are the corridors of all life? Yes. Mm -hmm. They bring in life? Yes. Mm -hmm. And they have to be healed mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically. They have to be healed before they can help others? Yes, in order for the earth to completely be healed. Mm -hmm. They have to heal themselves? Yes. If the woman is dying, so is the earth. Mm. And by dying, do you mean physically or In emotionally? Every capacity. Mm, okay. Now on Earth, women and men die normally. How can we help accelerate this, even though the women are dying? Everyone must take full responsibility for their thoughts, words, and actions and choose only to focus on love, to emit love, to be love. Rationale must be love, the basis of everything. That is the only way they will win. Hmm. How much more do we have to go? We have a long way to go. A long way to go.
Very good. So, if you would tell me, how are you affecting this woman named Lorraine? You send her light. How is she that, how did she connect with you originally? I've been connecting with her since she was a child. And you've been connecting with her since she was a child? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Her mother to swim in the water. We had her mother swim in the water. Mm hmm. Her first exposure to blue. Ah, so was she born at the time or was she in the womb? In the womb. So when her mother was pregnant with her, she went into the water? Yes. And what did that do for the baby? in the water. She can hear the frequency. And where was that frequency coming from? Me. Mm -hmm. Do you have a name? Do you call yourself anything? Just light. Very good. So after her mother was in the water, what happened to this baby? This baby Lorraine. You surrounded her with love. Mm -hmm. You surrounded her with love. And then what? And then she had to be introduced to the shadow. Mm, she had to be introduced to the shadow. The darkness? Yes. Mm -hmm. In what way? By seeing the world for what it really was. Mm -hmm. What did that do for her? It made her sad. But we surrounded her with blue. Does blue have a different frequency? Yes. What does the blue represent? Peace. Calm. Mm -hmm. Her mother dressed her in blue. Mm -hmm. Painted the house blue. There was a room painted blue. Did she go to that room? When she was scared. Mm -hmm. Is that blue a particular color? Yes, it's the same color of our planet. Same color. Does it look like any color that we would know? Is it like the sky? It's like a warm baby blue. A warm baby blue. Mm -hmm. She wore all shades blue. Mm -hmm. That the blue was for her mother. Mm -hmm. What was it really? It was for her. Mm. Does this blue also protect her from the dark? Yes. Mm -hmm. Has the dark tried to, to interfere with your message? It has. Mm -hmm. She prevails. She prevails. Tell me about this woman. Did you know her before she came into this world? Yes. Tell me about it. She's my sister. She's your sister. So your sister chose to be here, but you didn't. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what is her mission? To help create more love towers. 
to help create more love towers. And how will she be able to do that? By teaching women how to love themselves. Mm-hmm. Is she succeeding? Yes. Mm-hmm. Is this why she created the spiritual center? Business called Breathe, Balance, and Energize. Yes. Mm-hmm. Was it her idea? Or did it come from your planet? It came from us. Mm-hmm. What is she supposed to be doing with this business? Continue to let us guide her as her as we bring people to her. Mm-hmm. Are these people chosen? Yes. Mm-hmm. To become love towers? Yes. Very good. Has she ever had a life on Earth before? Yes. Mm-hmm. What has impacted her the most? Children. Children. Did she have children? Yes. And what happened? Too many children. Too many of them. Is that why she chose not to have children now? Yes. Mm-hmm. So tell me more about this sister of yours. Does she get guided by other angelic beings, for example? Yes. Who works with her? Metatron. Mm-hmm. Michael. Mm-hmm. Isis. Arizona. Mm-hmm. Are all of these from the same soul family? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is she one of them? Yes. Mm -hmm. In what capacity did she have before she became earthbound? What capacity? Mm -hmm. What did she do? The same thing that I do. Same thing. You also helped. Say that again? You also, she also helped yes. others. Very good. When she came in this incarnation as a woman called Lorraine, did she bring a guardian angel with her? I am the guardian angel. You are the guardian angel. So you guide her. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what about others that she has been with? For example, Archangel Metatron. Her teachers. Her teachers. Does Metatron have anything to teach today? Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you allow Metatron to give her a message today? Yes. Mm -hmm. May I speak with Metatron now? Yes. Good afternoon. I understand that Lorraine has been working with you. With prayers, with symbols. What would you like to tell her today? She is the key. She has the key. She is the she key. She is the key. Okay. Can you tell me more about that? What key is this? Activating the love energy. Activating the love energy. Okay. How does she activate it? By staying at a high vibration. High hey. energy vibration. Any prayer with the help of any symbols, they only ex allow they will allow her to exponentially increase the energy of what it is she's trying to create. Mm-hmm. But it 
must be coupled with her own high vibration of love energy. Mm -hmm. So these prayers that she's creating with the symbols, what more is she to do with them? Trust and believe that they become real things the moment that she creates them. Mm -hmm. And be cognizant of her energy during the creation of them. And that is all that is required. So basically set an intention to believe in what you're doing? More than just setting an intention. Mm -hmm. She has to keep her energy high. Mm -hmm. Nothing short of love. Nothing short of love. So she shouldn't be doing it in haste or an obligation. Right. Mm -hmm. She should first really sit and cultivate the love energy within herself before creating them. Mm -hmm. What will she be doing with these? Is this something that she will be publishing for others? No. It's just for her? It's for others. It's for others. Will she be using this? This is one of her ways of helping others. Okay. Align with their highest good, within, also the light within them. Good. So, you have already said how to do this. Will she be using this activation symbol when she does, for example, her yoga or her Reiki or anything like that? She wants more specifics as to how she would use her activation symbol. If she practices yoga, and Reiki repeating the words love it, love light the entire time. Love it, love life? Love light. Love light? Yes. Mm hmm. Coupled with yoga and a strong breathing, strong conscious breathing. Mm hmm. That will help to raise the love energy, retain her frequency. Mm -hmm. and increase it to go higher is this is kind of like a mantra isn't it to repeat yes can it be used by any of these love towers all love towers all love towers so really the love towers should be all saying love light yes and breathing yes while they do that and yes. that will increase the energy yes of the towers yes Mm, energy, very good. How will that help the planet? It creates a synergy across the globe. Mm -hmm. When they do this activation, do they need to be sitting in meditation or could they be doing anything? Sitting with an erect spine. With an erect spine? Yes. Uh-huh. Can you tell me what happens once one sits with an erect spine? The spinal cord is a vibratory instrument in the human body. Mm hmm And so it will help emit it? It will help them also receive signals and guidance. Mm. Okay, good. So this is why of the yoga position. Why well, it helps when you're doing yoga. It helps when you're doing anything. Okay, good. Good. Metatron, do you have any other information for her? There are more symbols to come. There are more symbols to come? Mm hmm Will you be giving them to her? Yes. Are these coming in her dreams or just her thoughts? Thoughts. Thoughts. Very good. Can you connect with her even easier? The numbers. The numbers? Yes. What numbers should she be using? Nine. Nine. Okay. 
So when she uses the number nine, will she be connecting with you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Does she need to visualize this number? She can write it. Write it? Mm hmm Does this number nine signify something? It signifies everything. Mm. Is it a manifestation number? Absolutely. Okay. That of completion. Of completion. So when someone is wanting to manifest something, is it helpful? Perhaps to think of what they're manifesting and write down the number nine? Yes. Mm -hmm. They can write it nine times. Write the number nine nine times? Repeat it nine times. Mm -hmm. Verbally? Yes. Mm -hmm. Think it nine times. Think it nine times. Visualize it nine times. Okay. So nine is really the key to the manifestation. Yes. Very good. And anybody could use this? Yes. Very good. Is there anything else that we can use? That these love towers can use to help the planet even more? That's all you need. That's all we need. Very good. Thank you so much. Let me speak with her guardian again. Thank you very much for allowing Metatron to give us that information. It's going to be very helpful. Can you tell her about Isis? She says Isis is her mother. Yes. What message does Isis have for her today? She is proud of her. Mm -hmm. Anything else? And that her heart shows through all that she does. Her heart thro shows through everything she does? Mm -hmm. Yes. Anything else from Isis? Continue to be exactly who you are. Mm -hmm. Don't change a thing? No. Mm -hmm. She's always a little bit different. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that why? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Do you have anything else to tell her right today? That there's light in her hands. There's light in her hands. Mm -hmm. What should she do with this light? Touch. Touch people? Yes. Mm -hmm. Does she need to use anything else to enhance the touch? Perhaps crystals? No. No. Just the touch will help. Mm. Does she need to set an intention when she touches someone, or does it come naturally? She should only follow the guidance given by Metatron. Okay. And she knows what that is? What he just said. Very good. Love light. Yes. Good. Good. Anything else? Imagines me to have blue metallic wings. Mm hmm. Do you have blue metallic wings? Yes. Yes. Where do these blue metallic wings come from? They are the cocoon in which I heal those that I love. Mm hmm. Do you use these wings for healing? Yes. Mm hmm. And do these people need to call out to you, or do you automatically just heal them? I have my chosen few. You do? Mm -hmm. Is Lorraine one of them? Yes. Very good. Are these chosen few on the earth now? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. How many are there? Millions. Millions. Very good. My blue-black children. Your blue-black children? Yes. Mm -hmm. Where are they from originally? The sun. The sun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do they know that they're blue-black children? Some do. Mm -hmm. 
the ones that have grown to love their skin mm -hmm. and find their magic within it. These are the ones? Yes. Very good. Anything else that you would like to tell Lorraine today? I am always with her. Very good. Thank you very much. Let me speak with her higher self again. Were you able to answer the rest of her questions today? Yes. Thank you. Is she in alignment with God's will yes. for her life? Yes. Is she an Octarian of the Blue Planet? Yes. Mm -hmm. So this being that we have been speaking with is an Octarian? Yes. All right. Very good. How is she to work with the Virgo cluster and the planet Mercury? She's been receiving information from there. All she has to say is that she is calling on the energy that they each hold and ask them to fuel whatever it is that she would like to materialize. So anything that she wants to materialize, she just needs to ask them? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, she's having a hard time materializing her house. What's going on with this? She's not having a hard time materializing her house. No? What's, what's going on with that? All things are in divine order. Mm -hmm. She has to just re receive it in the time in which it is being given. Mm -hmm. So she needs to be patient that all things will come yes. to a closing? Yes. Is she supposedly learning something from this experience? She's to learn from all experiences. Mm -hmm. So what is the experience teaching her with these challenges? That her relationship is not so much with other people, mm -hmm. it is with Divine Source. She is to trust only in the magic of love and light mm -hmm. and let it do all the work of materializing what it is that she wants, even in depending on other people. Mm -hmm. So basically release and let go of her expectations yes. and allow it to happen. She's so independent, mm -hmm. prideful to a point she's not used to having others to do for her. Mm -hmm. Being dependent on others. Right. Mm -hmm. But all will go be well with that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. What message does she have from her Legion of Love? That our powers and energy are only as extensive as she believes them to be. Mm -hmm. Okay. And as long as she imagines them to be great and extraordinary and penetrating, they will always be that. Mm -hmm. So it's her belief in them? That, that gives them the power? It's our belief in all things that gives anything the power. Mm, okay. Whether it be positive or negative? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that the same with everybody else? Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you believe, for example, that something will heal you, it will? Yes. If you believe that it doesn't? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is this something that's innate? In all of us. Yes. Mm -hmm. How can we best use this power? By making a very deliberate decision to only believe in our most fundamentally highest good. Mm -hmm. Everything else is a lie. Everything else is a lie. 
else is a lie? Does this lie come from the darkness? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're not to be sucked in by this doubt? Don't believe it. Mm -hmm. Don't use your energy for it. Don't listen to it. Don't watch it. Mm -hmm. Detach. Detach from the darkness. Detach. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you would like to tell Lorraine or anybody else? that would assist them in becoming a better tower of love. There is no greater power or energy than the universe throughout galaxies that is more powerful than love. Love is it. And if we grow it in being practitioners, of love. There is nothing we cannot overcome and change and evolve for a better day for all people. And the more of us that decide and choose to be great practitioners of love, the better off our entire planet will be. But it must start from Within, within our hearts, within the conscious minds, and let no act, no foul act, no word of man allow us to choose anything else. Thank you very much. You are wide awake, feeling wonderful, all over. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Interesting. What do you remember? Everything. Everything. How does it feel to be in this, on this journey? seem to be very emotional at parts. And a cry. Mm -hmm. Does it make you understand things more? Where are you from? Um, it just affirms. It affirms. Um, I've always been emotionally sensitive mm -hmm. and um, very uh, responded to uh, other people's feelings mm -hmm. or you know life instances and that's what you people do that's what we do you, you absorb it and then you send out love and light mm -hmm. Makes sense? Yeah. Mm hmm It makes a lot of sense. How do you feel? All of your questions were answered. Yeah, I could feel my heart beat. Mm-hmm. Mm. How long do you feel you're on this journey? Mm. 48 minutes? Mm -hmm. An no, hour and a half. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. A little longer, huh? Mm-hmm. A lot of strong people around you. The blue. The blue. Yeah, I can still see it. Mm-hmm. And when he was standing there with his head hurting from all the pain, planet. He was absorbing all of that. That's why his head hurt. Mm -hmm. He was taking it all in. Right. Mm -hmm. Didn't even have to ask about that. Mm -hmm. He kind of understood mm -hmm. that that's what you do. You take in the pain of others in order for you to get light. 
has to be a better way. <laughs> <laughs> but you were also told you need to detach. Yeah. Right. You're there to heal, but you're not there to carry this. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Which I learned. Mm -hmm. So, how do you feel now that you've had this session? Did you expect something like this? <laughs> you knew you were different. <laughs> I, um, you know, I said in the elevator, right, that I have felt really neutral. Mm -hmm. um, I'm still just freaked out about when I looked like <laughs> your long, yeah. long, blue, yeah, three, yeah. Yeah. three toed being, yeah, three head, yeah. I think you should have saw the black ocean. Oh my That's god. Nice. That's so nice and nasty. It was just dark. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No sky, but just mm -hmm. like this gray. Yeah. That was in the year 6000. <laughs> yeah. It may not have been this earth. It may have been a different earth. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, I heard that there have. This, this is like the second earth. Who knows, right? Who knows? Who knows? So, so is this something, something that you want to share with others? Absolutely. You had some personal things that you may want to. Yeah, the personal stuff that yeah. I need to hear. But I think that the Malu part was pretty good. And the message from Metatron, I think, is absolutely wonderful. Mm -hmm. Not the number nine. Mm -hmm. It was good. Yeah. Excellent. All right, so let's, let's disconnect you here. Let's say goodbye to okay. So here we are in Atlanta, Georgia, and we just had a great session with Lorraine. So Lorraine, now that you've had this session, what would you like to tell everybody about it? Wow. Like the mind is an amazing tool. Mm-hmm. And the difference between what you believe is real <laughs> and not real is like as thin as a piece of paper. Mm-hmm. And uh, if we use our imagination, our words, our intentions, our thoughts, more importantly, our hearts, with uh, the intent to love and love only. Things are gonna happen. Yes, beautiful, mm -hmm. wonderful, loving, miraculous, miraculous, miraculous things. Yeah. So it's really all coming from the mind, the intention, the love in your heart. Yeah. And I think that this is what we saw today. That yeah, was so powerful. Like a tingling over my entire body. Mm -hmm. so, so now, now we, we have, have to say nine 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 So we got a really good message from Metatron today on how to manifest. Okay. And we need to use that now. Yeah, now that we know we were, we're getting tools here. Yeah. So, so we, we have, have to do this. So what would you like, like to tell everybody about this experience and what they should expect or not expect? Because you were neutral. Yeah, I say expect nothing. But come open mm -hmm. and willing to receive and be guided through the process. Mm -hmm. um, you got a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So, so would, would you, you like, like to tell everybody about your center, about, about, about what you do? Oh, so the name of my business is Breathe, Balance, Energize, and Service of Happiness. And our goal is to help individuals or groups collectively establish a strong self-care practice via understanding how to love yourself first and by being a great love practitioner of yourself then in turn we can go out go throughout the world and be better lovers to one another mm -hmm. um, love towers love towers <laughs> You are creating love towers. Yes, that's really it. Yeah, that you got the name for. It. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I know some already amazing, beautiful women that are doing similar work, and I think that there are a lot of women that are doing that work unconsciously. Mm -hmm. um, but the message I want to deliver more than anything is that we must be deliberate about our love um, and define those. Um, techniques and methods in which we want to emit and share love and allow ourselves to be guided by love. And, and what do you do in the center? You said you had done, you do yoga? I do yoga. I offer yoga, Reiki, aroma touch technique, 
um, wellness coaching and energy clearing. Um, something very similar to what Alba Wegman does, but I clear energy and speak with um, archangels without hypnotizing them. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, yeah. Excellent, mm -hmm. excellent. So, so if you would like a session with me, like Lorraine just had, go to albawyman.com. And as you can see, I travel. I'm in Atlanta right now. I am based out of Miami. All you have to do is go to my website, look at my calendar, and see where I'm going to next. And you can also subscribe to my newsletter to see if I'm coming to a city near you. So until the next time, thank you. Bye. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>